one of the secrets that we've been able to learn today that uh, truly has become one of the secrets of the universe is uh, that franchising helps you hit a home run over time. So you kind of have to, just like you want to prepare for the big leagues um, by uh, you know playing high school and college ball and eventually you actually may get drafted. Same thing here with your local business. If you would prepare with franchising in mind, uh, where you are something that's duplicatable and that local people love that maybe has a, uh, a national and potentially international appeal, then you might be lucky enough to get picked up by the Gahala group like America's Tacos did. Uh, so uh, Dana, tell us a little bit about now that America's Taco Shop has, um, uh, has been adopted by you, what types of advertising, we talked a little bit about the social media, but there's so much involved in a complete advertising program to help get those uh, restaurants uh, uh, known, both from the standpoint of business to business, who's going to invest and buy a franchise, but also once the franchise is there, how do you get the word out uh, about that locally and nationally? Well, when you're building a brand, it's important to uh, make sure other people are talking about you, mm -hmm. and that's why PR efforts are so important in the very beginning a building brand. What other people say about you is much more important than what you say about yourself. Sure. And so with that in mind, you know, we do rely on a PR firm here locally that helps get the word out. Eventually we'll go to a national PR firm when we get more stores outside of Arizona. Uh -huh. uh, we also see a lot of importance in the local store marketing. And part of our training program takes you through local store marketing and really grassroots marketing so that you become the mayor of your village, so to speak, and people know you in your neighborhood. Like Terry, everybody knows Terry. You knew Terry when we walked in the door. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and Terry's very involved in America with um, Carne for the Cause, which is a, uh, a annual event we do that benefits uh, the Phoenix Children's Hospital. And he and America have been involved with that nonprofit for a long time. So, getting involved in your community is very important, and we we teach you how to do that. And then eventually, at some point, when we're big enough, where uh, to where um, national commercials and national campaigns make sense, then we go into that arena. That's great. Um, and kind of uh, going along those lines, that uh, the Kahala Group is really good, obviously. I mean, who hasn't heard of Cold Stone Premium? Who hasn't heard of uh, Great Steak and Potato? These are uh, obvious. In it's not just that they have great food or great ice cream. It's that they have great advertising. And uh, so, um, again, another reason that you want to pick a, a franchising group that really knows how to, to budget and create uh, uh, portions of, of uh, 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 create a good advertising budget. Um, and I know that that's something that needs to be written in ahead of time and not an afterthought. <laughs> um, and, and I literally have seen that with, uh, in fact, I just saw a, a franchise um, uh, go down by a, a very small mom and pop franchising group that took them to fruition. They were going nationwide and then they forgot to include advertising budget in there mm -hmm. and it was everything went down in flames so mm -hmm. um, you I, I'm not I'm only sharing this uh, from the standpoint of uh, if you are going to franchise make sure that you call the Kahala group and not just you know somebody's brother sister that uh, that maybe does some franchising on the side so um, anyway just a little my input there. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> and then uh, I, I think too that even though you're developing a franchise, you are going to have a lot of the weight taken off your shoulders. Um, I'm going to let Terry speak to this. What has it been like? It's been exciting, but has it been more or less work than just running the three stores before you got started? You, you know, it's uh, I've got a lot on my plate and Working with the, the, you know, we have four stores now ourselves, and then you know, working um, with Kahala to develop America's Taco Shop to take it out. And America and I are, you know, I think we're the type of business owners, and we're connected to Kahala in a way that I think will be forever, as long as we're welcome mm -hmm. in the room with Kahala and America's Taco Shop. We'll always be there because we're, just, I think, our passion for what it is, America's passion for the food, and making sure that the consistency is there from you know, store to store locally, but when you start leaving the state and going to other markets, to make sure that people are getting the same food that they're getting on 7th Street in Monta Vista in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, so everything has been great with the relationship working with Kahala, and you know, I think the sky is the limit. That's what I think. 
I do, and that, that's the that's the nice thing. You know, I was uh, talking earlier today with a, a consultant. Uh, he was more of a relationship consultant, but he said, you know, in relationships, there is there is a uh, limit. You can say how far a relationship will go down, but you, there's no limit on the on how well it can go. Uh, uh, yeah, there's no no the sky's the limit, so to speak. And the same thing here that uh, when you start franchising, if you do it, you do it right. You do it in well in, in a well planned way. Um, with a good advertising program, with good branding, and you're duplicatable. Um, and and did, did you take notes on all that again? <laughs> uh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> um, you do all of that, and you have a good central product uh, like uh, America's Taco Shop. Um, then you really do have a, a chance to go nationwide and worldwide. I mean, they think about McDonald's from the standpoint of how many of us just absolutely die for their product. Not really, you know, but it's always there. It's yeah. well branded, and so they are so extremely successful. Even me, you, you guys do blimpies, right? Mm -hmm. That's my favorite sandwich. Um, and and the subway is bland and boring to me. And and uh, but um, and and I would probably venture to say a lot of people would even say the same thing about subway. Sorry, subway, if you're listening. Um, but. Uh, but the, the thing is, it's on every corner, it's convenient, it's there, it's well branded and well advertised, and we all go there. So um, these are the criteria that you're, you will uh, also find created for you with the Kahala Group if you decide to uh, utilize them for uh, as your franchise group. Um, it looks like we have about two minutes before uh, the end of the show, um, and so we want to wrap up. Let's uh, let's give uh, website information, and also I want to have a couple of parting comments. Be thinking of anything that we forgot to share so far that you would like to share with our audience. Um, and we'll start with the Kahala Group again with your contact information. Sure, www.americastacoshop.com, and our phone number is one eight five 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 Carne C A R N E, or Eight five 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 two two seven six three, and um, currently, just to wrap up, we have seven stores open. We just opened our first store outside of Arizona in Bethesda, Maryland, in the Naval Hospital. Wow! That just opened a couple weeks ago. We're very excited about it. Uh, we have another five stores under various levels of development. And the sky's the limit, as you say, Kurt. Absolutely, I agree. And uh, uh, Terry, were, were there any parting comments or contact uh, information that we may have uh, neglected? Yeah. In, in parting comments, I'll say one of the things that you know Kahala on the, the Kahala side came up with is uh, that you know tagging the word "craveable" attached to America's Taco Shop, and I believe in that. I think it's something that we get cravings all the time in our house, in our kitchen. My daughters have a craving for a particular food that America hasn't made for a while. And, you know, everybody gets to share in that kitchen. They get to go to America's Taco Shop and have that carne asada taco or the tacos al pastor or the ceviche. They get that opportunity. And uh, I feel like America created uh, the blueprint for success with the recipes of food. They're there. So uh, we can take those. And I feel like if you can make... Uh, Great food on the corner of 7th Street Monta Vista in Phoenix, Arizona. You can take it across the world. Absolutely, you can. And uh, you're absolutely right. I did. It is craveable. I craved it. Uh, and uh, one thing I didn't tell you is that you're on 7th Street. For uh, When I went to go back, I was looking on 7th Avenue, and then you opened up one on 7th Avenue. We confused people. <laughs> Everybody, they, some people question my motives uh, for opening up on two sevens and naming an American soccer well, shop. Well, it works. Now we have a hunt for both places. Yeah. So anyway, definitely thank you for coming on the show. Thank both you for having you. us. Thank you. Thank you, the Gala Group, and thank you to uh, American Soccer. And uh, again, thanks to our listeners for tuning in to the Social Universe here on uh, World Talk Radio and Voice America. And we look forward to tuning in next week at 3 o'clock uh, Pacific and 5 o'clock uh, Eastern. We'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.